Hello guys, John with you and it's time now for the next update, okay, the next daily update on this uh, fabulous little Tamiya kit. It's the uh, last in my mini-series of classic Tamiya 70s kits of German armour and the like. Um, this is the German 88mm gun flak 36-37. 36 being the uh, anti-armor one and 37 being the anti-aircraft one. I'm doing the, uh, the 36 which like I said is the anti-armor one and the main difference really between the 36 and the 37 apart from some of the little differences on the um, on the side of the gun but say visually is these little um, uh, buffers here on the end of the um, the, the pistons, shall we say, they're longer with the anti-aircraft version, and there's a, a little kind of a, a yoke here on the on the barrel. You'll see that now in a second. It's this is the one for the 36, and the 37 has got a, uh, it's just a little bit, a little bit slightly different. It's it's, it's more smooth. It doesn't have those grooves in it. Okay, so that's really the only difference. Whether it's got to do with the velocity of the shot or whatever, I do not know. Um, but anyway, this is the, uh, the I'm going to do the uh, the 36 version. So yesterday we did this piece here, okay, which is the uh, the gun base, right? We got that all finished off. Uh, it's workable. Anything that's supposed to move in it moves. And uh, the first day, then we built the motorcycle and the rider, okay. So now. Last night I got done. Say, I, got, I got done last night. Uh, I got done last night. I probably did get done last night. But what I got done last night was I got this, which is page seven of the instructions, and it's instruction uh, steps five, six, and seven. Okay, step five is be to do a couple of little sub assemblies. Okay, and as you see the blue marks, the blue marks are marking off um, parts that were for the flag 37. It gives you the options of different uh, components that go on, the, 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 whether you're doing the flag 36 or flag 37. Um, like here, those two pieces there, they weren't used, so therefore there was those ones that you used. So the uh, we did the... Um, the fuse stator, the battery case and the fuse setter, right? We also did the um, recharging cylinder, the equilibrators, <laughs> basically the, what they are is they're, they're, um, they're the pistons, okay, for the, uh, for the recoil, the recoil pistons. The barrel, including the uh, that sleeve that I said. Remember, it was a, a nice smooth one for the 37. I've got that little thicker one for the 36, and then we've got the sides here, the side plate parts, and um, down here. Then we're, we've got more part of the main um, the main box, as they call it, construction of main box, which is the uh, piece that sits onto this right um, so we start off with the uh, we start off with the, we start off with the barrel because most of these little uh, pre sub assemblies they went on to the sides and things of pieces that uh, you know got put together later on but with the gun barrel um, it was a two piece barrel and then we had the um, the the, uh, the breech then was uh, was uh, separate pieces. You got to put them together. There's only three pieces, and that is not very very uh, extravagant with pieces at all. But the gun barrel was a two-piece barrel. One thing I will say that you should get, right? Consider getting if you're into uh, you know if you if you don't mind doing the uh, the gun barrels yourself, you know, with the two-piece barrel rather than going off and buying. Uh, aftermarket it's one of these little items here right but well, there's a little sanding block okay you pick them up in pound shops in the uh, the makeup section but for ladies with their nails 
or gentlemen with their nails, whichever if you want nice clean shiny nails. Um, there are four very fine um, sanding things. Um, and once you say you once you've gone over it with your rough sander, got rid of your seam lines, then you go over it with you know a finer one again. It's just getting it finer and finer and finer. And the last one then is just practically it's like a strop, shall we say? It's just there's no sending in it whatsoever. It's the, the one there is called Shine, is on it, and uh, that'll buff it back up again. And if you can see there from that, right, and get it nice and close for you. I give it a, 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 a twist. Now, as you can see from down here, I am actually twisting it. Right? And as you see there, seam line is gone and everything is nice and shiny and clean. Okay? And you end up with something that looks just as good as any slide molded or metal barrel. Okay, you end up with a, a nice little piece, right? Just take your time, you know, it, it's not a quick job, it does take some time to do, uh, but it's worth it for a finish, as you can see there. You can uh, you can get it nice and smooth, and they're handy for other parts of modeling kits as well. I use these the whole time, I find them absolutely fabulous. Great little tool to buy, um, and I know that in the pound shops here. We call them pound shops. It's amazing. We we haven't had the pound for the last twenty years, but most people still call them pound shops. A Euro shop, okay. And um, there's a, a shop in Limerick. It's called Deals, and um, what they are, they're basically it's the Irish version of Poundland. Poundland is the parent company, which is an English company. And you buy these. Uh, so in England, you're buying them for a pound. You get three of them for 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 a pound. Here they're one fifty. 149 to 150 for three of them in a little pack. You also pick them up in chemists. They're probably a little bit dear in, in, in your chemist or drugstore, um, but they're dead handy. Really, really handy and a great little modeler's tool. that's nice and cheap. Okay, um, brilliant joke, and you get uh, get your your pieces really, really clean, as you can see from that. All right. So these are the two little. Um, words that I can't pronounce because they've got them pistons little recoil pistons okay that's what I would call them All right and the same again with those there were uh, two pieces put them together with an end piece and a cap and uh, you know clean them off glue them together keep them nice and squished and give them a clean off a scrape and, and then go over them with the uh, with that fine sander and you get them nice and clean okay because one thing about this kit there's lots of little two pieces like that then there's a few more to come up I spotted them later on and um, it, it it's something that uh, if they're not cleaned off properly they, they, they do look bad I have seen one or two bills, I'm not going to name names, on YouTube where people haven't really cleaned off properly. Um, whether they just don't know how to or they just didn't bother, I don't know. Um, but you can see it and it, it, it doesn't look very nice. It doesn't look very nice. You can see the kind of the line down even after they've been painted and everything else. No, they still end up with a nice model but um, for finer detail, it, it's just to me it just sticks out. I suppose it's the fact that I got to bother cleaning them off that I'd know I noticed these little things. But there are lots of little um, seam lines throughout the pieces, you know, and, and you've got uh, um, casting seam lines as well on them. So it, it's it's worth taking your time to uh, to clean them off um, either by using say the back of uh, uh, your hobby blade or by sandpaper or sanding sticks and then finishing them off with that you know it's worth taking your time don't rush it don't go overboard with the heavy sanders either because uh, you can end up removing detail that you don't want to remove you know and that that that's a, that's a worse thing again okay so here's one of these little pieces here it's called the uh, recuperator cylinder piece okay there was just one piece to go into that 
Okay, it's just that piece, you can't really see it, you can see it from here from the outside. Right. There's obviously another piece to go onto that. We'll be adding on now in the next uh, the, the next stage. I'll be doing that this evening. Right. We've got one of our sides here. This is the, the side then with that fuse setter, which was one of the little sub assemblies. Okay. Now if you look at the detail on that, that's, that's actually quite nice. And if you're good with a really tiny paintbrush, you can do those little wires in a separate colour. Okay. Or just by um, a wash, might even and a bit of dry brushing that would get them up as well. Okay, but you can see it there. The detail on those is absolutely fabulous. Considering like this, this this kit was molded in uh, 1972, where they don't have the uh, the computerization that they have with modern molds, and they can get detail really really fine. You know. Um, there's kits that are only coming out in say the last couple of years don't have detail as good as these right there's the other side then and you know look at the detail on that that is absolutely gorgeous it really really is you know um, quite a few little pieces went on there okay a little bit fiddly but um, you know take your time and uh, that's if you're building along with me, just take your time. Make sure the pieces are nicely cleaned off. Make sure you've cleaned off all the, uh, the sprue gate marks, any bits of um, sort of flash and little seam lines. You get a kind of a seam line down the centre there and things like that. Just go to the bottom of giving them the clean off. Take your time, it's worth it for a finish. You know, it, it, it might take, say, an extra 10 minutes of cleaning just to make sure that the pieces are nice and clean but it's worth it like I said for a finish because you end up with a lovely lovely piece um, that's really it oh, then we've got the, uh, the the fuse setter this piece here obviously now that we haven't fitted it yet it'll go on at a later stage excuse my dirty fingernails I beg your pardon okay today is Wednesday and we put up the bins on Wednesday so I was uh, digging around with bins and things but you can see there now I haven't that kind of cleaned off as such yet but a rub of uh, I use sort of I use these right they're they're makeup ones or nail nail art ones and you know so work in a circular motion Try not to walk in the one going, say the the one way. By going in a circular motion and you know, changing your things, you're not going to end up with uh, deep scrapes. Okay. So as you see, then there we. Our line is as good as gone. All right. Then go over it with uh, a less gritty side. Then go on to this yoke here, like I said, now we can watch how this, how this yoke will do it, okay? Start off with the file and the buff. Smooth. Finish off them with shine. As quick as that. You don't need any more, more than that. And there you go. Okay. Moved, cleaned off, and all looking nice. You will still see the line there, but if I put my finger across there, like I said, my fingernail is actually quite prominent. There is no. You can sort of visually see it, but once that's painted, you won't see it at all, because the. There is, is it my, my fail isn't my nail isn't actually catching on anything there at all so there you go you can see the effect of that yoke how clean it makes the piece um does it look quite nice so anyway that's, that's it for this uh, quick update that was like i said page seven which is the third uh update on this first update was the bike second update was the base and now we're on to the uh, the cradle and the gun Okay, so for tomorrow, I'm hoping to get to this stage here, which is step 11. 
uh, we're building up the gun cradle the other side of the uh, recuperator right there's our one piece so we're putting that now onto another one with uh, with, with, with this piece up here with the, with the cradle um, the assembly of the automatic rammer that sounds cool doesn't it automatic rammer <laughs> and then we're fitting the top carriage completing of the tap of the top carriage right so with there's our base piece which is this piece down here so we're adding it all onto it so we're adding our two sides together we're adding that uh, cradle thing and our two uh, little pistons okay and they fit into these uh, these little hook thingy jiggies Okay, they're there at the front, you see them, the little cradles. Okay. These things here, one there and one there. So the rammers then will clip into them. And then we should, uh, we should be sort of uh, really kind of making it look like a gun now th th at that stage then. We'll be fitting the gun then in the next day. Uh, and we're nearly finished, nearly finished. We're getting there, we're getting there, slowly but surely. We're getting there, construction nearly getting, nearly done. So let's, um, if you want to watch tomorrow's one, best thing to do is to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. By hitting the bell, you'll be notified straight away as when the, uh, when the next update is up. And uh, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, you're one of my subscribers already. Thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate it. I really, really do. And um, what else can I say? What else can I say? I'm really enjoying this kit. I'm really, actually, I'm enjoying this kit. I'm glad I kept this one for a f to the finish. I love the little, the little detail in this is absolutely beautiful. You know, all the little details in it. You know the. The little details down there on the uh, on the um, on the base, you know, it just it just it just it just looks lovely. It really, really does. And the molding on it is absolutely beautiful. For a kit that came from what 1972, when this when this uh, when the molds for this were made, and you compare them to say kits that are coming out, in, you know, today in the last couple of years even detail you know on this is uh, well up there with, with, with some of the stuff that's coming out at the moment um, I, I compare it on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a quite even basis shall we say um, so like I said lads don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned for the updates and uh, let me know in the comments box below how you think I'm doing and uh, any hints and tips that you want to add in yourself there um, so let me know okay let's so in the meantime be nice to one another stay safe out there especially these times with the uh, with that virus going around look after each other and look after yourself and in the meantime go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it because that's what it's all about and that's what I do I enjoy it okay so until then lads stay safe enjoy yourselves and I will catch you on the next one